Addiction. A compulsive, chronic, physiological, or psychological need for a habit-forming substance, behavior, or activity. And as it turns out, I'm pretty familiar with it. Heck, you might be too. You see, when it comes to video games, everyone has that one that they always go back to. You know, the one that you have over a thousand hours in but still say is so unbelievably trash. Well, for me, that's Overwatch. But I'm ready to quit. And after looking through research on what drug addicts do when they're struggling, I found that my original plan of stopping completely and going cold turkey most likely wouldn't work. Thankfully, there's a much better solution. It turns out that the best way to quit is to become addicted to something way stronger. And it just so happens that Big Pharma Blizzard has been cooking something else for years. So join me as I try to become addicted to World of Warcraft. And in particular, classic World of Warcraft. If you're like me, then you didn't know that there are two versions of this game. The retail one, which is the game that's out right now, and then classic, which is pretty much the original game when it first released, so without many of the new expansions and updates. I did go into it first trying out the retail version, but it felt wrong. I needed the source, the Coca-Cola before they removed the Coke, the game that prompted headline after headline claiming addiction, obsession, and ruined lives. I mean, that's what we're after here. The game that lives rent-free in people's minds and on lists across the internet as the most addictive game ever created, which led me back to classic. So let's get started. I whipped up a character and spawned into the world for the very first time, and I've got to say, I was already feeling pretty good. The game was easy enough for me to complete quests and hard enough to make me feel that I've accomplished something. And this feedback loop is one of the largest components that makes this and other games so addictive. As I continued to gain rewards and level up, my brain continued to release dopamine and reinforce the connection between the two, similar to gambling in a casino. In other words, my plan was already in motion. Heck, I was even invited into a guild, which is an in-game group of players where we can all talk and help each other out. So with meaningful social interactions and relationships added to the list of reasons to play, I continued to do exactly that. Time started to fly by. I made an imp friend to keep me company, created goals such as getting a mount at level 20, completed quests left and right, and replaced my imp with someone cooler. Stupid imp. I discovered all sorts of new areas around me, and it's this continuous, endless introduction of content that keeps players engaged. Whereas other types of games end, whether it be a storyline or just a match, World of Warcraft does not. There is no story to be told, and no match to complete, but rather a character to be, and a world to live in. Take me for example, after dying multiple times to the crit boss and finally defeating them with just one health remaining, I didn't so much feel accomplished in real life, but I did so as my character. It was Minnow the undead warlock that just barely escaped with their skull, and who finished every quest in the small town of Brill, becoming a hero, and someone who will be remembered there in the game. I was paving my own path and creating my own experience, and soon along this path I hit 50 tasks completed. This was a milestone for me. After that, I made more friends, killed bigger enemies, browsed the local markets, learned new trades, and explored further out into new lands. Days have gone by. At this point, I had spent 15 hours playing the game. Was it really this easy? Have I become addicted? If so, how would I even know? I wasn't sure. But then a day went by without me playing. And then another. It's tough to admit, but during this time, I relapsed back to Overwatch, and I indulged there for quite a while. But I was eventually able to take a step back and remember my vision, my new purpose. I wasn't ready to give up. I mustered up the strength to put it back down and reopen World of Warcraft, and decided that this time I would take a new approach. Just playing the game wasn't enough before, so I needed to take it up a notch. Firstly, I had one week before my subscription ended. After that day, I will either succeed and renew for another month, or fail and fall back to step one. In order to maximize my time and effectiveness, I would try to play every day. Repeated exposure is a key element here, and I wanted to utilize it to my full advantage. But if that wasn't enough, I had one final trick up my sleeve. You see, we know that the dopamine from completing quests and leveling up is an essential part of what creates these urges to play. So I'm going to make sure that I get more. How? Well, with sugar, nature's gift and curse. I would grab my favorite candy, Sour Patch Kids, and pop one every time that I accomplish a goal in-game. This would hopefully create enough reward in my brain to keep me coming back. And as an added bonus, I found it useful to keep the candy close by during the day when I wasn't playing, you know, as a sort of subtle reminder. But when I was, it was great. Yeah, I was seeking out new places to grind more experience and found myself enjoying the game more than ever. I would grab as many quests as possible and run around finishing whatever came my way. 
I ended up obtaining the mount that I previously set a goal for. I discovered new areas that felt completely fresh, and the bond with my character was stronger than ever. It went on like this for a few days more, and it was actually going so well that I figured it would be interesting to take a day off and see how I felt. Unlike my break before though, this one was purposeful. I wanted to see if I would experience any withdrawal symptoms, because if I did, well, then that would be a fantastic sign and reassure me that my plan has been working. But I didn't. This was bad. My time was running out fast. I, I didn't know what to do, so I threw a new flavor of Sour Patch Kids into the mix and upped my dose. I also made my environment a bit more motivating to keep myself from straying away from the game, and then dove right back in to play out my final days. And speaking of, I actually found out that I have more time than I originally thought. That's one more day to become addicted. So I tried to fit in as many action-packed quests, as much adventure-filled exploring, and I even began to dip my toes into the world of dungeons. These are pretty much larger quests that are both more rewarding and social than me just running around the map alone, which was a great change of pace. And perhaps it was the perfect way to cement myself into the game before my deadline. And speaking of such, it wasn't long before my last day neared its end. So with what could possibly become my last few hours in World of Warcraft, I cherished them. And before I knew it, it was time to make a decision. So what would I do? Have I been sucked into the game just like millions of others around the world and renew my subscription? Or would I leave my character and my 30 hours of investment behind and fall back into my old ways? Yeah, no, I tried, it just didn't work. You know, all in all, I had fun, but it's not for me. And I certainly did not learn a thing about addiction. I mean, I'm just here to play games. Although I do think I have a Sour Patch Kid problem now. Anyways, there's a quote. Today's World of Warcraft is tomorrow's Pong. And I think that they may be right. So what do you think the next big game's gonna be? Or maybe be like? Also, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others. Oh look, I made an Overwatch one. <laughs> and although I didn't become addicted to World of Warcraft here, there is still one question left to answer. Is it more addictive than crack? So join me in part two where I dive nose first into the world of cocaine.